the rise to greatness and then there were four the final four of the ninth season of the ASEAN Basketball League brings us to the OCBC arena we are in Singapore for game one of three of the semi-final series between our very own Singapore Slingers and Hong Kong's Eastern hello welcome along to our coverage of the ABL playoffs it really is a special night for the Slingers in the nine seasons they have not yet won this championship this is as good as a chance they're going to get. They are the top seeds. They beat Macau Black Bears by two games to one in the quarterfinals. I tell you what, though, if they are to make the finals, it's going to be tough because Easton are the side who knocked out the number one seed, the Alab Pilipinas, and they did it in some style by two games to nothing. Scotty McKinnon is alongside me. There's Corkill in the commentary box for today. Scotty, home court advantage must tell tonight for the Slingers. Oh, this is the game the Slingers need, and they must win, Des. Just just like you said, game one, they need to win this because going to Wan Chai, that ruckus arena there, it's going to be very difficult to steal a game over there. So they need to win game one. OK, let's have a look at how Slingers did get here. A 16 and 10 regular season record, third place overall. Very creditable, but a scare against the Macau Black Bears when it came to the quarterfinals. Comfortable winning game one here at the OCBC. Game two, just a two point defeat. Game three, it could have gone either way. Slingers, though, they did it down the stretch and they've made it into to the semi-finals for the first time in the, well, for the third time in the last four seasons. As for Hong Kong Eastern, well, their road to the semi-finals, sensational. Nobody, but nobody predicted them beating the Ala Pilipinas by two games to nothing. And not only that, look at the score in the second game up in Hong Kong, 102 to 84. That is emphatic by any stretch of the imagination. So Hong Kong Eastern, they may well be the seven-seeded team, but they are certainly the team in form and they are a team who will be coming into the OCBC arena hoping to really make uh, the most of this this first game um, Singapore have got home court advantage you mentioned how important that is but with the shooters that uh, Eastern have got they can really make a, uh, make it difficult for Singapore coach uh, Nyo Beng Siang yeah, and, and, and great point there, Des. Uh, the shooting of Hong Kong is going to be the difference in this series. Uh, they scored 90 points per game, third in the ABL, and they do it from the three-point line. So Singapore's ability to defend that and contest that three-point line is going to be a huge, important factor in this series. Ed Torres, he knows what it's like to win semifinals. He also knows what it's like to lose a semifinal. This is the season. Each time he's guided his side to this stage of the competition. That's quite some record by the Spaniard. Oh, absolutely fantastic coach, and his basketball IQ is the roof his ability to change defenses and change matchups quickly and on point his in-game adjustments this is a very formidable coach coming into the OCBC arena so Eastern are being introduced onto the court at the moment And the crowd is beginning to make their way into the arena. We're not expecting a full court. It won't be a 1,700 capacity as there was the last time here, but close to 1,000. That can make it an intimidating atmosphere for Eastern should they try. There's one man, Mike Holyfield, who's a recent signature for Eastern. Big role he's got to play as well, Scotty. Yeah, and he replaced Sam DeGuerra, the big seven foot five um, Mulvaney. So it's, it's to, to have Holyfield here, he's a very good big in this ABL. And he's a good big because he knows his role. He knows what his strengths are, and he doesn't go outside that box. And he's had a very successful run so far with Hong Kong here. OK, let's now go on to the home court, Singapore Slingers, as the players are introduced one by one. Jun Wan will be one of the point guards if he can get onto the court. Further down, Desmond O oh, and John Fields will have big roles to play. It's a, a short bench that Singapore not often play, but the bench could well come into play today, Scotty. Yeah, and the locals are so important for them. Larry Liu, uh, Desmond O, oh, Delvin Go, uh, Jun Lim, like you said, uh, Ding Tae Loon. They, they have to be confident and ready to play some basketball because they are going to be a huge factor in Singapore's ability to stretch out that Hong Kong defense early and often. Jaron Young about to be introduced out onto the court, and this and the next player will be the ones who are really going to be cheered. Larry Liu makes his appearance. Now let's just listen to the atmosphere as we get introduced to Jaron Young and the X-Man. starting five for Singapore. 
Biggest cheer of the night for the local hero, the X-Man Xavier Alexander. And Del Bingo, the big six foot ten centre. He also gets a big cheer. There is the starting five for the Singapore Slingers. We'll confirm that for you in just a moment. You played a, a good level. You played in the Pro Leagues in Japan. Getting to the playoffs is what it's all about, Scotty McKinnon. Oh, this is the moment for both these teams here. And and the Slingers, this is their opportunity to overcome that, that foe that they've had for a long time now, that, that hurdle that they haven't been able to jump, and now having home court advantage in game one here. Des, this is, this is the time, this is the opportunity, and this is the moment for the Singapore Slingers. Okay, let's have a look at these starting five. We'll start with the, the visitors from Hong Kong Eastern. Marcus Elliott, we know all about, and Leakey, the outside shooting. Oh, Darian Bassett, no figure for him because he's such a recent signing. Also, Mike Holyfield and uh, Su Kin Pham will be in the starting. That shows you they've made big changes, brave changes, coming into the playoffs. We haven't even got the photos ready. Oh, uh, that's a great point. Bold changes. Right before the playoffs, they replaced Aguirre with Holyfield and uh, Odarian Bassett, and those guys can play, and it's changed their season, and it was a huge contributor to them beating Alep. But there's one regular man, Marcus Elliott. This is a player who Eastern have relied upon over their last three successful years. He's the man who'll be shooting from the outside, shooting from the inside, close to 25 points a game, six and a half rebounds per game. Talk to me about Marcus. Uh, consistency, he is the pillar of consistency. Uh, he had a great 2017. He was the MVP of not only the ABL season, but the, the finals as well when they won the championship. He was the MVP of the local league in uh, Hong Kong, which which is the HKA1. He was the MVP of that. Uh, what a 2017 Marcus Elliott had. And he's just pushed that forward, and that consistency has been here all year long as well. Des. But it's not only about the foreigners. We've mentioned them, but the, the, the locals. This is Key Lee. And he is, is another who, when he comes off the bench, and Eastern will use players off the bench, he's been able to put good figures get eight and a half points a game two and a half rebounds a game as well as a couple of assists that's a good contribution oh yeah hong kong's national team point guard here can really shoot it and everything is dependent on that three-point line for him if he gets it going from outside and he gets uncontested shots he shoots at a really high clip around 40 percent it's going to be real tough for singapore to get him out of that rhythm and it was those three pointers that got rid of ala Pilipinas in the quarterfinals look out for that because that is a, a deadly weapon that eastern have got in their armory as for Singapore, home court advantage, we've mentioned it. This is the starting five. Jaron Young, Desmond O, the X-Man, Delvin Go, John Fields. Huge task for these to come out firing on all cylinders. Yeah, and everything's going to be dependent on Xavier Alexander, the leader here in Singapore, not only on the court, but off the court. They're going to need him to play his best basketball. And for, when he does, Singapore is amazing. Yeah, for Xavier Alexander, he is the life and soul of uh, the Slingers, nearly 22 points per game. Not the not the best in the in the in the league or in the club, but eight and a half rebounds, seven and a half assists, all over the court. He contributes. Yeah, versatility, and that's his strength. Um, look to look for Xavier to guard Odarian Bassett as well. I'd love to see that matchup early. And Coach Johnson and Coach Neal have made some great adjustments. If, if they're going to put their best defender, who I think their best defender is, they're going to put Xavier Alexander on Odarian. Perhaps we'd like to see him shoot a little bit more from outside, but if under the rim there is an opportunity for Delvin Go and the big men to take advantage. But if Slingers are going to thrive in this atmosphere, then they have got to overcome the fact that they've lost twice this season already. Once in overtime here at the OCBC Arena just before Christmas, and then a bit of a blowout, 88-81 to 81 in the away match in Hong Kong. So the form is with Eastern. They're, they've won the last two. They beat Singapore in the finals. Something must give. Semi-final number one, best of three, about to get underway. Slingers in the white, Eastern in the blue. Enjoy. This is what ABL basketball is all about.
Straight away, Alexander off the rim for two. Perfect start, seven seconds in. Couldn't ask for more to start the game. Xavier Alexander at the rim. Nice little finish there for two points. And a little bit of contact there as well. Alexander, the man on his back, and you hope that's not a problem. There he is, just eased off by Holyfield. Boxer's name, Boxer's yeah. aggression. <laughs> And this isn't a good thing for them, for him to pick up his first foul 10 seconds into the game. They need that big man in the game, and his physicality on John Fields is, is so important for them. It wasn't exactly subtle either, was it, from Holyfield? And possession given away to the Slingers. There is uh, Alexander. Not much movement under the rim at the moment. Fields now makes the move. And Fields, little jump shot for two over Hollyfield, a 4 nothing start. A great decision to go at Fields there, or get the ball to Fields in the post. They had Holyfield guarding him, looking, trying to pick up the second foul. Great attack by John Fields. Bassett, his first involvement. Outside shot is missed by Marcus Elliott. It's a bright start for Singapore. Young looks again for Fields. That time off the rim and short possession picked up outside Young again. Alexander faced by Bassett. The screen was good from Fields, but Bassett takes the second and third ball. Easton have a chance maybe to get some offense going. Big battle between Fields and Holyfield underneath the rim. And then Bassett runs his way through, picks up his own rebound. Pushes outside, but throws possession away. And this is a very sloppy opening by Easton. Yeah, this was very unlike them, because against Alab, everything was crisp and clean. The ball screen action was awesome. The kicks out for three. And, and they look a little bit discombobulated right now to start this game. Could, fabulous word. <laughs> discombobulated to get us underway. Spelling test for all of you listening at home. <laughs> Alexander, he's the main man. Again, Fields has got the screen in front of him. Young, little jump shot for two, it's good. Right old start. And that's the aggressive and confident Jaron Young that Singapore loves to see. When he gets downhill going off that ball screen and looks to pull up there, looks to attack, he's at his best. A great start for Singapore. 90 seconds in, Elliot goes around the outside again, throws it away, terrific hustle from Alexander. We suggest that they have to be really on the go from the start, and they are other slingers. Yeah, and they forced indecision, indecision for Hong Kong. You see right here, an indecision by Marcus Elliott and almost another turnover for Xavier Alexander going the other way. Keeley was who was dispossessed. Keeley on the outside, looks for his first three, and Keeley buries the three. That's the outside shooting we're scared of. And that cannot happen. Like you said, Keeley steps right into a wide open three-pointer, uncontested, now he's one for one, and got a little rhythm going. Outside for Young for three, that's good! Jared Young stepping up and shooting the basketball. Great start for Jared Young here, two, to, from, two from the field. Fast transition allows Holyfield versus Fields. Heavyweight battle. Alexander picks up the, the spare ball. Fields has got a big job on Mike Holyfield. Alexander blocked by Bassett. Young, go. Fields lifts it up for two. And again, tacking through the post there, and, and Delvin Go. Great matchup he has on John Sui. They force a little bit of a double there, and he kicks it out to John Fields for another 15-foot uh, jump shot. Four points for John Fields already. Nothing really in the paint. They've just been little jump shots uncontested from outside. First bit of court action for John Sui. Bassett outside, long-range shot, way, way distant. Young picks up the board. Seven minutes to play, and Fields manages to catch it, but couldn't keep it alive. Yeah, First little, hint of an error. Yeah, a little bit ambitious there from Delvin Go. Uh, you don't really want your four throwing a uh, half-court uh, over-the-top fronting pass there, so a little bit uh, ambitious for Delvin Go. He'd love to get the ball into a guard's hand and let him go from there. 11-point lead for Singapore Slingers. Home court advantage. Game one of a best-of-three series against Hong Kong Eastern. Bassett turns it outside off the knee of Xu. And then he steps inside, John Xu nicely off the glass for two. And that's a tough matchup there for Delvin Go. He's not as quick as John Xu, and have to close out on a shooter like that, that's a difficult matchup for our big. Bit of pressure from Elliott on the back of Alexander. Fields drives into Holyfield. Left-handed scoop from John Fields. John Fields, great little drop step coming back to his left hand there for the baby hook. Six points for Fields. Bassett, oh, what pace. 
Little jump shot and banged in by Holyfield for two. Fast break, though, on the return for Slingers. Alexander drives. He gets two. Great body control. Xavier Alexander going to the rim. Nice little Euro step coming back there and going right through Odarian Bassett to the rim. So the power, though, of uh, Michael Holyfield for the first time. Elliot. And, yeah, Holyfield will pick up his second foul. Oh, and that is a huge foul. And his second foul, offensive foul on a ball screen there. Holyfield doesn't have to get that physical there. Holyfield, you see a little bit of extra action with the hip there, and that's his second foul, and now he's going to get a technical as well. Wow, that is a big call. Is it against Elliott or is it against Holyfield? Well said, Elliott. Good pick up there, Des. If it was Holyfield, that grimace would have been even grimmer from Ed Torres. And it's not, it, it, when you saw Hong Kong in game two against Alab there, they're running that ball screen action and everything was going their way. Oh, they had all the momentum. And you see right now, they're getting a little frustrated. And Michael Holyfield picking up his second foul is really going to change this game. John Fields is already three or four from the field for six points. Imagine what he's going to do if he doesn't have the big Holyfield all over him. Zale Alexander from the line, his first charity strike point. He's on five and possession for the Slingers as well. It's a 16 to 7 lead, the dream start. Alexander into fields. Go and shoot. Go tries to drive the baseline. Shoot does good defensive work. And that's well played by Holyfield to pick up the rebound. Bassett. Terrific pace, Bassett, but forgot to take the ball with him. Outside for Elliott for three. Wayward, and the foul is a defensive foul. Holyfield taken out, I think, by Alexander. Yeah, and Xavier has to be uh, careful there. That, that's a foul he doesn't want to pick up on the defensive rebound there. Interesting enough, on defense, I'm surprised Hong Kong hasn't gone zone yet. You would think with their lineup and their, their, their size, they would probably want to go zone against Singapore. Lee for Elliott. Alexander, terrific defending. Hand right in the face and feels a little bit over ambitious with the pass. They don't need to rush it. Singapore, they're the team with the nine point lead. Shu cuts inside Desmond Owen. Shu, fadeaway jumper off the rim, picked up by Fields. Great defense by Desmond Owen there to wall up and have a contested shot there for Sue. Delvin Go! Off the glass for two. And you talked about Delvin Go, the opener, how much it matters to have a local like him producing at the rim and taking advantage of that size advantage that he has on John Sui. First time out has been called, and understandably, it's Hong Kong Eastern who call it. Coach Ed Torres clearly not happy with the start his side of May, but Delvin Go, terrific determination. Yeah, and, and what a start for the Singapore Singers, like you said, Des. They could not have asked for more. Now, look for coming out of this timeout. I'd be very surprised if Edward Torres doesn't go into some sort of zone defense here. I, I, I think that he's going to make that adjustment, and I think that adjustment is probably uh, well-timed. The first sit down and a first chance for Nyo Beng Xiang to just talk to his charges. And Beng Xiang would have said, Go out strong. They've gone out strong. What's his words of wisdom now? Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, keep attacking the rim. And, and they look confident. And you can tell that Singapore has emphasized this game and they know the importance of this game. Uh, having home court advantage, you never want to lose it. You never want to be going to Hong Kong uh, down once. They, you can tell in this first five minutes that they really believe this is an important basketball game right now. Scotty McKinnon with the analysis of this game one ABL semi final best of three series. Dalvin Go, two points for him. Top scorer so far with six is uh, John Fields. The X Man Xavier Alexander's picked up five, as has Jaron Young. One thing I really admire about John Fields is he lo he's such an emotional basketball player and he, he loves these matchups, he loves challenges. He, he gets someone like Holyfield coming in with a nice little pedigree, played at Sam Houston State, at a conference all-star, and, and Fields rises to these challenges, and that's fun to watch. Bassett. John Shu from out wide. In and out, Holyfield. That will go against Desmond O. It was on the way down, Holyfield. It's a long way down from Holyfield to Desmond, though. Yeah, definitely. And 
And that's a missed box out there. They have to get that box out. John Fields has to stick that box out. He lets Holyfield get inside position and he wins the offensive rebound. It's the second team foul against the Slingers. Another possession thrown away by East, and they've just had the timeout, Scotty, and nothing seems to have changed. Yeah, and this is very, uh, very different for Hong Kong. They usually do a very good job of taking care of that basketball, and it's, it's a compliment to the Singapore's defense. The number one defensive team in the league is showing its pedigree right now. Second turnover where the ball has literally been thrown away at Fields. Well, Xavier and Fields then return the compliment. Yeah, Let's hope it's not catching. Yes, yes, and a little bit of sloppy play back and forth these last couple of possessions. Both teams, just a little bit of jitters. First game in the semifinals, they both just need to slow down and stick to their philosophy and game plan. 11-point lead for the Slingers. 4.35 to play in the first stanza. Pass it outside to Elliott, looking for the move inside to Holyfield. Well, he did a great move, Holyfield, but couldn't convert the two. Fields allows Young and Alexander the play. Desmond O in and out. And the fast break is on. Lee was uh, on his way, but the ball didn't make his way from Jonathan Sue. Yeah, and Hong Kong's fell into that zone. They're going to do it a, two, a two, three zone or a one, two, two, two zone right now. And so a nice little adjustment by uh, Coach Edward Torres there. Hollyfield picks up his second two pointer, beginning to dominate in the paint. Outside for two. Jaron Young moves on to seven points. Yeah, three of three from the field, and he's got it going right now. Cook and Mr. Jaron Young. Bassett, quick, hand, uh, quick feet. Alexander draws his second foul. Oh, and that's what the Slingers don't need. They don't need that hand-checking foul right now for Xavier to pick up his second in the first half. He has to be smarter than that. Fouled out, of course, in the quarterfinal against Macau, and that goes, well, oh, palpitations. Oh, luck, it. Lucky that was called on Young. So one on Young, one on Alexander. I was. Okay, good call. Thank you. Ed Torres. Oh! <laughs> oh! Flying high is Jaron Young. What a start, Mr. Jaron Young. 4 of 4, and 9 points on the hammer dunk, Des. He is still in orbit. <laughs> Outside for Bassett, can't make it. Delvin Go picks up a nice easy board. Alexander starts again. Young, for once, just slows things down. Desmond O in possession, Go beneath the rim. Desmond, lucky to get the pass. Young outside, eight seconds on the clock. Field, sky hook, in and out, picked up by Holyfield. Very good defense there from Hong Kong, closing the gaps and walling up on fields. Bassett again, his trickery draws another foul. Yeah, and you talk about it, Odarian Bassett, and you said it really well at the beginning, his explosiveness. And the cool thing is, he's a multi-sport athlete. The guy actually uh, tried out, did the Olympic trials for uh, 2008 Beijing, uh, Beijing Olympics as a triple jumper and high jumper. Missed qualifying by only two spots and as his second sport. So what an athlete this guy is. Second foul is called against uh, Desmond O. Oh. Young on one, Alexander on one, 14 fouls against the Slingers, 2.30 to play in this quarter. Outside, John Shu closed down by Delvin. Good defensive work from Delvin, but good little sky ju uh, jumper from Jonathan Shu. Yeah, great defense, better offense by Jonathan Shu. Little floating jump shot there going away from Delvin Go's size. 22 to 13. The lead has been as high as 11. Nine is quite nice. Fields time and space and doesn't convert. A relatively simple two-point opportunity. Given away. Young not only scoring points, picking up the interception. First time we've seen on the play, Hambin. Alexander outside for three, off the rim. Fields picks up an easy rebound and the dunk. John Fields with his eight points of the game. Four rebounds, great position there on the weak side to get it and put it back in with a two-hammer dunk. Elliott round the outside. We'll pick up the two and we'll go to the line as well. What a finish by Marcus Elliott there up and underneath the rim and the English to put it off the top of the backboard and draw the foul for the and one. Jaron Young 
Not sure if he did try to pull out. If he did, it wasn't subtle, but two personal fouls against Darren. Yeah, uh, not, Jaren. Sorry, and that's one thing that, that, that's, uh, that's plagued Jaren Young all year long, is he gets into these great rhythms, four, four for nine points, and then he gets into foul trouble. And it's one thing, just, just give up the layup there. You're way too important of a basketball player to pick up your second here in the first half. Elliot makes it a three-point play. Eight points the deficit into the final 90 seconds. Young, outside, Hanbin, three. And that is so important for Hanbin to step into that three out of the kick out, and that's gonna get Hong Kong out of that zone. 27 to 16. Bassett's explosiveness, a feature of this first stanza. Elliot, oh, Young, dear me, now three personal fouls against Darren Young. And that's what we were just talking about. Jaren Young can't pick up that foul. He can't be over aggressive there. Three fouls in the first nine minutes of this game for someone who has nine points on 4 of 4 shooting. It can't happen. He can't touch him there. So the reaction of uh, Beng Xiang. And that's a big blow to Singapore there. Jaren Young going out of the game with the kind of rhythm and the kind of confidence that he's playing with right now is. It's, that's a, that's a, going to be a big challenge for them here. And it sends uh, Elliott to the line. Team fouls now beyond five. Elliott will make you pay. 100% from the line so far. Two of two. Yeah, what a career he's had in the ABL here. His, his fourth year with uh, Hong Kong Eastern, former MVP, oh, always a world import MVP candidate uh, from Louisiana Tech. What, what a fantastic basketball player this young man is. And they've reduced that deficit quite nicely now. Nine points it was. Hanbin, Alexander. Fields makes himself available. Bit of a mismatch inside. No Holyfield on the floor at the moment. Delvin Go can lift it in for two. Yeah, and Hong Kong fell into that 1 2 2 half court trap there that drove Alab crazy. And Singapore did a really good job of getting that ball to the middle of the basketball court so that they could attack the gaps and get a layup at the rim. Defense important now for the Slingers. Elliott, faced by Fields, drives to the baseline. Blocked off. Turnover, the sixth turnover. And Alexander's got the better of Bassett. Alexander drives outside. Three point play, drops for Larry Liu. Wow, the locals have come to play tonight. Larry Liu, Hanbin, stepping into threes and shooting them confidently. Great start for Singapore. A 32 to 18 lead, the biggest lead of the game so far. Easton go outside. Eight seconds to get the shot away. The foul is drawn against Hanbin. The basket will not count, but they will go to the line for two. Yeah, and the officials are calling it tight right now. They're calling those hand checks. So Singapore on those hard contests and hard closeouts, they're doing such a good job of getting a hand up. They just need to get off and stop touching them when they get that downhill drive going. 14 points, the lead, the biggest that we've had so far. Come out firing was the, the instruction. Yeah, and we talked about Hong Kong being the shooters. How about Singapore? Already three three-point field goals made, and they're all made by uh, Larry Liu, uh, Jaron Young, and uh, Desmond Oh. Lee, 100% from the line, or Easton. Five points for him personally. Last play, Alexander. Three seconds, get the shot away. Hanbin can't get there. There will be 1.1 seconds to try just to work a play and get a shot in on the net. Look for something going to the rim here for John Field. Some kind of back screen for him, getting around the rim, getting to get, trying to get a touch and get it straight to the rim really quickly. It's a 12-point lead with this play to come. Alexander, Fields was there, outside shot for Liu. Is blocked as he goes for the shot. Nonetheless, a highly satisfying first stanza for Singapore Slingers. They have a lead of by 32 points to 20. Highlights after this break.
A very warm welcome back to our coverage of the ASEAN Basketball League uh, semi-final game one. Best of the highlights of the first quarter in which Singapore Slingers lead by 32 points to 20. Started pretty well for Lee Key, but otherwise it's been a period dominated by the outside shooting of the Singapore Slingers. Jaron Young, nine points leading the way, but foul trouble for Jaron Young as well. Yeah, and what a great start for Jaron Young, and he just has to stop touching guys. He's too important. He needs to be on the court for the Slingers, but like you said, Slingers, three of five from three right now shooting 60 percent as well as 14 to 23 from the field which is uh is fat 60 percent is unreal in this league so a great shooting percentage for the slinger so far yes yeah, shooting from outside three of five but young three fouls and you were saying as he picked up the second he's got to avoid it within 30 seconds he picked up a third yeah and it hurts the singer so much especially he's four of four from the field right now for nine points uh one person we haven't heard a lot from so far from the, the Hong Kong Eastern is Odarian Bassett. He's 0 for 4 and he, he's yet to score. And that's a credit to Xavier Alexander and his ability to guard and defend. Now this guy had uh, was on fire against Alibus last week was the difference in that game too. And so to see uh, Xavier do such a good job on him defensively, just, it's just a credit to what kind of leader and competitor he is. Second quarter. First time off the bench. This is for Chan Chu Wing. He'll just try to set up the plays, give Bassett a chance to maybe have a, a little look. Oh, Alexander! Unnecessary foul on Marcus Elliott, who ironically applauds foul problems could hurt. Yeah, and this is something that, that's not good for the Slingers. A little bit of a trip there on the foot from Xavier Alexander, and that's his second. So now you've got Alexander with two, Young with three, O with two, and, and they need those guys on the basketball court. Outside shot from Lee is very short. It's the one black point on the Slingers' performance. Delvin Go turns inside, little jumper, doesn't drop and Fields can't get there either. Alexander carefully allows Elliott to run past him. This time it's Delvin tries to put in a hand. Underneath is Shu. Delvin, hands high. Oh, nearly back into his own quarter. Shu Wing. Starts again, seven seconds on the shot clock. Interception from Larry Liu, great turnover. Oh, and it's gone against Larry Liu. He came around the outside, but it's a, a contentious call, Scotty McKinnon. Yeah, and that was pretty good defense there by Larry Liu. They're gonna call him on grabbing on the backside there, right here and wrapping around. And ah, uh, that was, uh, there was, there was a little bit of contact there, and, and but obviously the Singers fans aren't happy right now, having gone early into the bonus in the first quarter and already picking two fouls uh, uh, here in the first minute of the second. Some rather partisan chanting. <laughs> Bassett back into the game. He had a two-minute rest. Oh, what a move. But then too much for Holyfield. Almost too clever. Yeah, and it's, it's very interesting to see. That was the ball screen that Odarian Bassett just blitzed Alab with. And it's, it's, it's the mobile bigs that are giving him trouble right now for Singapore. Hambin sets it up. Fields looking for support. Fields drives in on Holyfield, who gets the rejection. Hanbin from outside, in and out. Delvin go, Hanbin might have another look. 12 seconds return to the shot clock. Fields again drives in and is rejected again. Holyfield claims for a foul from the Singapore bench. Nothing from the officials. I love that strategy from Singapore. Go at Holyfield, he's got two fouls. Great post up there from John Fields. He goes straight to the rim, and that looked like a lot of physicality right there in that challenge as well. And, but what a great strategy from Singapore to, to keep uh, banging it inside to John Fields. The bench was up in arms that there was no foul call, but the players, good to see, kept their discipline. Oh, Bassett, what a run off the glass, but off the rim as well. Alexander can go the other way. Larry Liu, under intense pressure, Liu. No look pass and go is blocked off by Bassett. That one is a foul and ironic applause from the home attendants. Yeah, and Delvin Go, four points, uh, three rebounds and four assists already. Two of five from the field. He's done a really good job of going at uh, the smaller lineup that Hong Kong has out there. And every time he catches him, Singapore wants him to be finishing at the rim and near the rim. Now, interesting enough, uh, 
Hong Kong's come out here in a man-to-man -man defense again. Uh, the three of five, 60% from behind the three has forced them to get back up and, uh, and go to that man-to-man -man matchup. Uh, great job by Singapore coming out and shooting it confidently and making uh, Coach Torres make some in-game adjustments here. First point of this second stanza belong to Delvin Go. Takes him on to five points individually. Leading all scorers is Darren Young, who's not on the court at the moment. Elliot, who's been a little bit becalmed. Five points for him, though, as he tries to wiggle his way through. And a double dribble coming from Xu Wing. What great defense by Singapore. Just that ability on the ball screen for the bigs to step up and hard hedge it and then recover to their man. And that help on the middle line on the weak side. They are just doing, uh, showing a defensive clinic right now on how to guard a ball screen. So the Slingers have kept up the intensity of the first quarter. But can you keep it going for four periods? Yeah, That's very the well done. Alexander drives off the glass for two. Beautifully done. There's the answer right there from Xavier Alexander, scoring a seventh point right now on three of five from the field. Alexander faces Bassett. Holyfield with a screen. Fields doesn't fall for it. Outside shot, in and out. Drops to Alexander. Fields did enough just to screen Holyfield out of the way. Alexander, a little touch from Xu Wing, his first personal. Yeah, and on that other end, again, they run the horns action for uh, Hong Kong. And if Adam Shu doesn't make that shot, Delvin Gold's going to help on Mike Holyfield all day long. So Adam Shu's going to have to step up and shoot that three for Hong Kong. Adam, touch tight on Alexander. Who smuggles his way underneath for Fields for two. What a pass by Xavier Alexander. Draws the help, bounce pass straight to John Fields, and now he's dunking and hyping up the crowd. Timeout call by Hong Kong Eastern. They've taken down two timeouts, and I think Scotty uh, McKinnon both have been enforced upon them. Oh, you said it, Des, completely enforced on them. And it's, it's enforced by the confidence and just the team basketball that Singapore's playing right now. You look at the unselfishness of Xavier Alexander to draw the double. Nice little fundamental bounce pass to John Fields, who finishes at the rim hard and heavy. Just a little bit of recovery time, get the breathing going once again. But John Fields, he's certainly uh, having a fun time out there. Ten points for him. Yeah, uh, 10 points, six rebounds, five, ten, five of ten. And, and the physicality he's shown so far is he's been the aggressor to Holyfield. He's initiated the contact, and that's got Holyfield in, in foul trouble. He's picked up two, and he's had ten points. And, and John Fields has had a really nice start to this first half. Asian Basketball League semi-finals. First game in a best of three series. Singapore Slingers yet to win this title, but twice beaten finalists up against the 2016-17 champions. Eastern, who beat Slingers in that final by three games to one. A little bit of revenge in the air for the Slingers. Yeah, and, and, and they've done everything right so far in this first half, Des. Uh, and the big key has been stopping with Darian Bassett. He averages 23.4 points per game, and he has not scored yet. One of four from the field. And credit to Xavier Alexander and then John Fields and Delvin uh, Goa, the bigs helping on that ball screen. What a fantastic job they've done. It's a game high, 17 point the lead. Scoreless Eastern in this second quarter so far. Three minutes and 10 seconds into this quarter. Bassett, Elliott with the screen. Bassett wiggles his way through Fields. What a rejection. Holyfield puts it back in though. Uh, they made a really nice adjustment there. Coach Torres putting in Lau, number 88, which is 49% from the th uh, three point. Delvin Go can't help off of him anymore. So now Darian Bassett is in the lane without anyone there. Behind the back for Fields to lift it over. Can't get there. Fast break is on. Outside it's Selai. Bassett. Three-point effort. In and out. And then the attempted rebound doesn't work. He's into the board. Singapore have the ball. Fields for 
tip in for Alexander. Oh, what hustle by Xavier Alexander. <laughs> I thought it was in two, Des. Nice little draw pass, and he gets the touch in right there for another hustle 50-50 basketball play. Nine points for Alexander. Aliou beautifully put in by Holyfield. Lovely play from Sewing. Yeah, and Holyfield is what you need for a big in this league. Five of seven from the field, but he does his role. Every time he sets a ball screen, he's finishing at the rim. Eight points for Holyfield. Outside shot, Larry Liu. Two for two for Liu. Larry Liu, second three-point of the game. Singapore's fourth three-point of the game. What a start for them from a shooting perspective. Three-point this time, doesn't drop for Eastern. Rebound picked up by the white shirt of the Slingers. Alexander Drive draws the second foul against Chan Xu Wing. It's suddenly going the Slingers' way. Yeah, defense to offense, and it's been really fun to see this transition game that the Slingers have allowed themselves to get out and do. Great stop on one end, and they're finishing at the rim or getting a kick out three on the other end. So they, Hong Kong looks confused right now. Hanbin. Singapore Sling has been so close to the elusive prize. Hanbin outside for three again. Nine points. And they say shooting is contagious. Singapore's fifth three-pointer of the game, stepping in and shooting the basketball with confidence on balance. Check the width of those rims at that end of the court. <laughs> Holyfield, big rebound, and then takes uh, an elbow. Could be Ham Bin, hopefully for Singapore, not Fields. Yeah, definitely. And, and if you're talking about a bright spot right now for uh, Hong Kong, Mike Holyfield, 10.7 rebounds, 5 of 7 from the field. And uh, he has five of the nine field goals that Hong Kong has so far. He's come to battle and he's come to play today, and everything is around the rim. Nice, high, elegant action from Mike Holyfield. Drops perpendicularly in and. Yeah, 19 points the lead. Very good form for a big man as well. Nice to see a guy who can shoot foul shots for his size. One for two first. Free throw they've missed, but they've retained possession. Holyfield nine points. Confirmation it was Hambin who picked up the foul. Outside from Bassett, doesn't drop. Picked up by Fields, outside from Xu Wing. Elliott has a look. Two-pointer, little jumper, uncontested. Picked up by Alexander. Nine of 29 shooting are uh, Hong Kong. Fields, little floater for two. John Fields, very nice touch there in the dump down pass, right over top of Holyfield. Really nice finish on that jumper. Leading all scorers with 12, John Fields outside. Soleil for three, nicely played. Yeah, and that's the shooter. He made seven three pointers uh, when one game this year. That guy can flat out shoot the basketball 49% of the year from three. Alexander Drive looks outside to Hambin. Hambin throws possession away. The fast break is on. Bassett, second three point effort, drops. Two for two for Silai. Immediately a timeout called by the Singapore Slingers. Yeah, and he's a game changer. And what a substitution by coach Edward Torres to get him in there. Probably should have came in a little bit earlier, but this guy, look at how smooth his jump shot is. And when he gets it going, he can shoot it from anywhere. Those two three pointers within about 20 seconds of each other and they change the whole complexion it's a 16 point lead but it was a 22 point lead yeah and so a great time out by coach johnson and coach neo to try and settle them down and get the momentum back on their side and try and kill this momentum that hong kong had and, and notoriously uh wan chai arena is a shooter's gym they got really loose rims uh, there's a lot of front rim shots go in there and Singapore is very different it's not a shooter's gym the depth perception behind the the baskets and the rims changes that and you can see that for for Hong Kong so far they're not used to playing here 11 of 31 from the field right now and that's apparent in Odarian Bassett who's one of six and that's very unlike Odarian Bassett who shoots 43 and 36 on the year from both two and three Forty six to thirty. 342 to play, a really important 342. Slingers, if they can maintain a 16-point lead at the half, the job is half done. Oh, you said it does. It, this is the most important 342 right here. They can't let this get down to a 10-point or a single-digit leader. That, that, that will give all, uh, give Hong Kong all the momentum going in the second half here. Inbound possession for the Slingers. A press of sorts by Easton. 
by seven seconds on the clock, but some neat passing. First time passes, but now just 12 seconds get the shot away from Hambin. Fields beneath the rim, outside, effort for Desmond. O oh, for three. Contagious, shooting is contagious. Desmond O, oh, Hambin, Larry Liu, all shooting the three with confidence right now. What a job the locals have done today. Bassett, well, again, he's missed a, a layup for him, and he's only sauntering back into defense. Han Bin outside. Oh, off the glass from outside, and Bassett interested at the body language of Bassett. Elliott drives off the back of Delvin. Go possession will go the way of Easton, but talk to me about Odarian oh, Bassett. Great, great point. His body language right now is not very good. And in Hong Kong, Odarian Bassett in game two against Alep, he couldn't miss. And then he had a 10-day layoff. And to lose that kind of momentum, to not go straight into the second series, you can see that it's affecting him right now. And he's starting to hang his head and hang his shoulders a little, little bit, which isn't a great sign for Hong Kong. All it needs, though, is maybe a couple of big points, and he'll He'll get the spark back. He's a quality player. We saw that. Any team that can do their Filipinas as they did. The Bassett then misses a three-pointer. Larry Liu is the first of the rebound. Underneath for Delvin. Go! Larry Liu over the top of the zone to the weak side. The big man, Delvin. Go with the alley-oop finish. Singapore's got it all going today. Seven points for big Delvin. Go. And that lead is now a game-high 21. Easy little layup, missed again, shooting stats. 11 of 34, outside for Liu, yes! Confidence is a beautiful thing when it comes to the game of basketball, and you can see right now Singapore has it. their sixth three-pointer made this afternoon. Larry Liu, three of those six made by him. Nine points for Larry Liu. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Bassett wriggles free and misses another easy layup. He's in his own head right now. He is getting to every spot he wants to go. He's just not finishing. Desmond Doe for Alexander drives. Fields doesn't dunk. <laughs> But I think from that perspective, that's about the only thing we can get down on right now, Des. Singapore Slingers with a 26-point lead. If you would have told me this coming into the day, I would have said absolutely not. Almost 60 points in the first half right now. That's Golden State Warriors style. Awesome. That's the word to describe this first half for the Singapore Slingers. Let's have a, a look at some of the lovely fluent passing and Alexander, another unselfish dish. Oh, what a play. You look down, balanced scoring right now. 14 points from field, eight from Lou, nine from Young, nine from Alexander, six from Nung, seven from Go. It just goes on and on and on. And you think Singapore's built this lead with Jaron Young on the bench, who hasn't missed a shot yet today. Great point, great point. He was on nine when he went off. Both you and I thought, hey, there's a problem here. Instead, they've gone up a notch, and those threes are just flying in. Very well said, Des. And on the other side, if you look right now, Marcus Elliott and Odarian Bassett, three of 18 from the field. And if you would have told me that those two dynamic guards would be three of 18 from the field with 146 left in the first half, I would have said, get out of here. Um, it's just a, a tale of two different teams right now. Let's not get carried away, though. I did a game for Mosa versus KL Dragons not long ago. KL Dragons were 20 points adrift midway through the third, came back and won it. Yeah, you're, you're very, very well said. And, and, and Singapore's had trouble finishing games. They've had trouble uh, finishing off teams. And so this is a great opportunity for them to, to try and end Hong Kong here with 146 left in the first half and then continue that momentum on to the second. 146 remaining in the second. Singapore Slingers lead by 26 points. Here is Bassett. He will spark at some stage. That bit you know. Elliott, he will as well. Elliott drives the lane. And draws the foul from Larry Liu, which will be the fourth team foul against Slingers, but in the act of shooting, he'll go to the line for two. And good decision by Marcus Elliott to, to get to the rim there. They're not shooting the ball well from outside. Uh, fantastic job by him to step right through Larry Yu Liu and get that contact on the shoulder and look to finish. Bassett steps out to rather ironic cheers. Yeah, and, and, and Odarian Bassett, 
he, he couldn't have had a worse half so far. So for him coming forward in the second half, a player of his quality who could be a world import MVP if he played the full season here, uh, he just needs a minute to get himself together and to come back out here in the second half and get that spark back that he had in game two of the, the quarterfinals. Even Marcus Elias has been becalmed. He's on six points, but four of them have come from the foul line. But he's perfect from the foul line. Yeah, shot eight and nine from the floor right now for Hong Kong. So that's where they're getting the majority of their points from the field. 11 of 36, like you said before. And that's very unlike Hong Kong. So the law of averages are, is going to come back at some point. Delvin Goh steps out. Han Bin steps in once again. Alexander's been on the floor for all 17 and a half, 18 and a half minutes. Field similarly. Han Bin, seven seconds on the shot clock. Han Bin. Fancy little move, Fields dispossessed by Elliott. Good steal of the ball as Keeley comes forward. Keeley drives, Ooh. Surely a drive from Keeley, indeed it is. Desmond O took a smack on the back of the head, but is up in a trice. Yeah, and that's the sacrifice there from Singapore Singers captain. Desmond O steps right outside the charge circle, takes it in the chest. Oh, what a fantastic basketball play there, sacrificing his body for the team. A little smile as he gets up there as well. That, that, those, are, those are plays that, that championship teams make right there. One minute to play in the stanza. The press is on. Desmond O can wriggle free. Han Bin. Lee in the face of Alexander. Ten seconds get the shot away. Alexander. Well, Desmond O to Fields! And that's another 50-50 ball won there by Singapore. Desmond O quicker to the spot, gets to the basketball, and it turns into a John Fields dunk for his 14th point. 16 points, got to correct you. Oh, He's well the said. leader of all. <laughs> he missed one. Another turnover, another Singapore big play. Alexander to hand bin. Shooters will shoot the basketball. Han Bin now. Three three-pointers on the afternoon. Outside, three seconds. Got to get the shot away, Keeley. He does. It doesn't drop. What a half of basketball for the Singapore Slingers. They lead by 29 points. They lead by 61 points to 32. Dreams are made of this. Championship winning teams are made of this. But let's not carry it away. Half time analysis coming up after the break. Half time, Slingers 61, Hong Kong Eastern 32. A very warm welcome back to the ASEAN Basketball League semi-final game. One of a best of three series between the Singapore Slingers and Hong Kong Eastern. Remarkable, remarkable first half scoreline. Singapore Slingers 61, Eastern 32. 32 points, 29 points in the first and second stanzas. Nobody, nobody would have predicted this. Des Corkill alongside Scotty McKinnon here. We've had a blast in the commentary box because the three-point shooting from Singapore Slingers has just been incredible. Seven of ten shots from outside. Yeah, and, and we knew the three-point line was going to be a huge factor in the series. We just thought it was going to be for Hong Kong. And Hong Kong, three of 15 right now for 15% from three. Singapore, like you said, shooting 70% from three. And and what a start for them. And, and, and you can see it's contagious in their confidence and the way that they're shooting the basketball right now. Everyone is stepping up and looking to shoot it when they're open. And, and that's a great sign for Singapore going forward. We were worried at one stage, though, that Singapore would run into foul trouble. Darren Young picked up three fouls. He stepped out of the ball game, but it hasn't stopped the onslaught. Nobody predicted 61, uh, a 29-point lead at halftime. Yeah, and, 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 and it came from the locals as well. It was, it's well distributed across everyone. They're all shooting it well, all shooting with confidence. And, 
that's been the difference in the game so far. OK, let's run into the highlights of a remarkable first uh, 20 minutes. Start off with a tip-off, and Singapore scored within the first seven seconds. That set us on the way. There was a, a, a three-pointer from Keeley. We knew about them outside, but then the threes just started raining in. Yeah, and Jaron Young, he had a great start to the game, 4-4, four, four, but like you said, he picked up that third foul early. Would love to see him get that rhythm back that he had in the first half there and stay out of foul trouble. We'll talk about the outside shooting, but John Fields has been enormous inside. He and Mike Holyfield, a proper, proper matchup. The flying Darren Young before he stepped out of the game. But let's talk about Fields and, and, and Holyfield. Yeah, what a great matchup between these two physical bigs. 16.7 rebounds for Fields, or 11.7 uh, rebounds for Holyfield. These two bigs have come to play. There is a, a, a matchup between them. Fields winning that and Fields top scoring goal with 16 points. Xavier Alexander, the X-Man, doing the X-Factor once again. Yeah, nine points, eight assists, six rebounds. Just across the board, like you said, the guy's a stat filler. And Fields has been benefiting. The three-pointers have been being drained. The assists have been coming out. That's a lovely behind the back field. It just looks like an importer uh, uh, highlight reel. This. It's not because Singapore, their, their, their benchmen have come to play. Larry Liu, three three-pointers. Ung Han Bin, three three-pointers. Yeah, and that local production means so much to, the, to Singapore. And wow, have they come to play today. Uh, just shooting the basketball and stepping up and, and breaking them out of that zone and making Hong Kong come out and, and guard them. And that opens it up for Fields. Uh, uh, Obasit has had a, a dreadful game, but there have been little hints that Eastern could pull this one back. They beat Arab Pilipinas last time out. You do not write them out, even though it's 61 to 32. This game isn't over. There's the, the, the key uh, statistics of the first period. Let's just take a little break from the breathless activity that we've had, and we're going to show you some of the top 10 plays of Singapore Slingers quarterfinal victory over Macau Black Bears. In the playoffs, every possession and every point matters. That's why these top 10 plays in the ABL quarterfinals are definitely meaningful. We begin at number 10, where Kenny Chen sending back Darompan Apirong Pilai Chai. He thought he got all the way to the rim, but Chen had other plans. However, Mono would definitely have the last lap in this series. Jaron Young with quick steal, and then able to throw it down over the Warwick Spencer. Look at Young turning on the Jets, and stuffing that home to beat the veteran Spencer. Singapore Stingers looking good here in this ball game. At number eight, Odarian Bassett. The game changer for Hong Kong Eastern. He would get sneaky with it as he finds a pass over to Michael Holyfield for that throwdown. Check out the ball handling wizardry of Bassett as he leaves it for Holyfield. Who knows what to do with that pass? At number seven, it's Febri Utomo. One of the stars of the BTN CLS night, finding a way to help out his squad. Take a look at the pirouette. And able to finish with the glass, getting that deuce to fall. Gorgeous play there by Utomo. With number six, Maxi Esho puts the Angelo Hamilton on a poster. Hamilton went along for the ride. The Esho climbed just a little bit higher and got that over the world import off the side on me. Number five, we go back to CIS Arena as Kyle Barone with a series of clutch plays to keep his team within striking distance and eventually pull away with the win. Barone with this crazy shot from beyond the arc. With 46 seconds remaining, Barone would get the second serving, get all the way to the rim to give his squad a two-point lead, and then he would go on to win the game in the quarterfinals. Time players make big time plays, and that's exactly what Kyle Barone did at number five. At number four, Romeo Travis in one of the craziest finishes in the ABL season. He would get the tip in, and he would give his team the advantage. Take a look at Travis not giving up on the play, despite the miss from Mike Singletary. And that would be a game-changing possession for Mono Vampire. Number three, Lao Chi Lai for Hong Kong Eastern chance to put away the reigning defending champions and that's exactly what Lao Chi Lai did on the road in unfamiliar territory and he would deliver for Hong Kong Eastern a booming triple from the veteran Lao Chi Lai. At number two, the Singapore Slingers needed a miracle without Saber Alexander as he was out in foul trouble. 
Jaron Young answered the bell and took this tough shot over the outstretched arms of Ryan Watkins. Check out Young. The shot would propel the Stingers into the semi-finals and he did it in a big way. But at number one, this is our lasting image of Mike McKinney. Clutch in every situation and always under control. And in game number two of their semi-finals, he would deliver down the stretch for the Macau Black Bears. Almost one second remaining on the game clock. McKinney finding a way and getting that shot to drop. McKinney and the Black Bears are done, but they will finish this version of the ABL Top 10 in at the number one spot. Chuck Triner, the voice of Singapore Slingers, talking through an amazing top 10 from the quarterfinals. Tell you what, we're going to have a pretty special top 10 for the semi finals as well. Second half coming after the break. Listen, it's Singapore Slingers leading by 29. call it a rise to greatness it's the buzzword of the ASEAN Basketball League it's in its ninth season Singapore Slingers have been competing since season one they were semi-finalists in season one season nine they're semi-finalists they're still without a championship medal tell you what they've made a huge stride towards a championship in the first half of match one of their semi-final series against Eastern they lead 61 points to 32 Scotty McKinnon the regular Slinger as a caller is alongside me and, and Scotty, nobody, nobody, nobody predicted 61-32 halftime. No, and 7 at 10 for 70% from the three. And then you made a great point about the bench production. 17 points for the Slingers, only five for Hong Kong. That's a 12-point difference that has led to this, this massive lead that Singapore has right now going in the second half. One thing they have to do is keep that momentum going here early in this first five minutes of the third quarter. We called the final 3.30 of the uh, second quarter pivotal. This could be pivotal as well. Jaron Young is back on the floor. Delvin Go, little layup rejected by Holyfield, but goaltending. Yeah, it was a really good call, ball, a really good call by the official. The ball had already hit the apex. It was coming down, and Holyfield took it off the backboard. Um, great call and a great start for the Slingers there with Delvin Go getting his ninth point of the game. Bassett remarkably scoreless in the first two quarters. Faces Alexander. Alexander steals the ball. Bassett wants a foul. Young on the drive to Delvin. Go for two. In the first, the second half starts the way the first half did. And what a job uh, Xavier Alexander has done on Ontario Bass right now. Like you said, scoreless. A guy who averages 23 points a game. Elliott outside for three. That's his first three pointer. Takes him to double digits already. We know that these guys are capable of scoring three pointers very, very quickly. Yeah, that's the scary thing is they can put up points in, in a hurry. Field rejected by Holyfield off the glass and Holyfield come out strong. Sounds like there were some harsh words in the dressing room at half time in the Eastern locker room. Elliott outside off the foot of Jaron Young. Yeah, Mike Holyfield averages 2.5 blocks per game. He's already got five today. He, he has been he has been everywhere around that rim. A great rim protector and has really good timing uh, protecting that rim. Have Eastern been bad or have Singapore, Singapore Slingers just been exceptionally good today? I think, I think yeah, exceptionally good. I think Singapore is playing out of their minds right now. Shoe outside off the rim for two. Jaron Young, great athleticism. And it's just coming together. The fact they were pushed so tight by Macau may well have just been a wake-up call for the Slingers. They're the top-ranked seed left in the competition. 
Marcus Elliott drives past Desmond Doe, faces John Fields, scoops in. Delvin is there first. Alexander and Young on the charge. Alexander, two, and draws the foul from Odarian Bassett. Great basketball decision there by Xavier Alexander to challenge Odarian Bassett. Odarian Bassett didn't want anything to do it. A little lay and little touch foul there. He can't let Xavier Alexander go up there and get that and yes. one finish. And man, has Xavier controlled this matchup so far between the two of them? Second personal against Bassett. Alexander now into double digit, this for a three-point play. Remarkably, that's Singapore, only Singapore's fourth foul shot of the game. They're three of four now. Generally, this is a team who shoots the most foul shots in the league. Bassett outside for John Sue, looking for Key. Quick feet. Young, dramatic, that's in and out as well. It's just like, it's a little bit unfortunate. They're dropping in and out. Hard rims, as you called it, and that soft rim comes off Bassett, Desmondo. Alexander thinks of a three. Needs to be controlled hoops at this stage from the Slingers. Fields for two. What a great look by Xavier Alexander there. Comes off the ball screen, draws the double. Nice little drop down to Fields for the dunk. That's his fourth dunk, John Fields. Elliott finds a, a lot of space and draws the foul. Third against Desmond Doe, I think it is. Yeah, that's a really tough matchup for Desmond Doe. They're, they're playing him on Elliott because Jaron Young has three fouls. And it, 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 Hong Kong's very smart to go through Marcus Elliott right now. Desmond Doe, that's a very tough matchup for our defensive specialist. 70 to 35, 35 points the deficit. We have seen leads like this disappear. Don't want to be a prophet of doom. But Singapore Slingers, they've got to do a professional job in this next, what, seven and a half minutes. Yeah, and they've done a really good job this first two and a half minutes. They've kept the pressure on, they've built that lead up even more, and they just want to keep on uh, playing hard and, and, and creating good basketball habits. Elliott remains perfect from the foul line. Yeah, the last thing either team wants to do right now is focus on the score. They want to focus on their habits, and, and eventually good things will happen on the scoreboard if they do that, and they stay to those habitual things that they practiced all year long. Nine of 11 from the foul line. Young, fast break is on, Desmond O. Field saunters into play. Young. Good hand, Fields faced by Holyfield, turns in round, little fade away, doesn't drop. Elliott. Pushes outside for Key, Key drives in, layup for two. A little bit of momentum coming here, Lee Key with a really nice pump fake to get uh, Desmond off his feet and got to the rim there for his seventh point of the game. Momentum can be a curious thing as well. When there's nothing to lose, you may as well go for it if you're Easton because this game is beyond them, and Fields takes it even further, and Mike Holyfield picks up foul number three. Delvin go with a fantastic pass there. Holyfield, they've done a really good job of getting Holyfield off of Fields' body, and then Fields has been able to sneak in through the weak side there for a huge and one dunk in his 20th point of the game. That's a lazy hand in there from Mike Holyfield. Yeah, he, he needs a better challenge, than that, especially to pick up his third foul. If he's going to waste the foul, he's got to be more physical. Fields goes to the line for a three-point play, second of this third quarter. Again, the competitiveness of John Fields is so impressive. He just he thrives on these matchups. You make a great point, put a big man up against him, and it, he'll love the battle. He may lose the battle. He's not losing this one. Elliott outside for three. Holyfield, terrific leap and. Wraps that in. Holyfield offensively and defensively has been strong. Yeah, 6-8 from the field, 13 points, 9 rebounds. He's had a really nice game as well. I was looking for another three-point play. That's a first foul gone against uh, John Sue, his first. And the luxury of having a local big like Delvin go is, is such an advantage because this is a mismatch. John Sue's giving up four inches there and 30 pounds. He can't guard a man to man. And playing through uh, a, an aggressive Delvin go is a great strategy from the Slingers. Scotty McKinnon with the analysis of this 
And I think the, the good news, it's not great for the audience at home, but the good news is Singapore Slingers are, are calming this down. They're not allowing momentum to, to grow for Eastern. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is give them faith or hope, and, and they've done a really good job of kind of shutting that down here to start the third. Dalvin, Young. Good athlete, Young. But throws it away to Elliott, who's an even better athlete. The pass over for Key Lee. Another layup for Lee. Doesn't go. But Holyfield eventually puts it back in. Yeah, and that all was off of the help the helper philosophy right there. Marcus Elliott helped Michael Holyfield that time, and that and that meant the drop down wasn't there. And all of a sudden they had to transition the other day, other way. 73 to 42. Young beneath the bucket. Pushed away. Alexander doesn't like the Aggression from Holyfield, who yeah. settles him down, I think. I yeah, don't think there's trash no. talk. And Michael Holyfield, that's, that's a playoff foul there. That's a, that's a, that's, there's nothing aggressive there. There's nothing dirty. He just doesn't want him to get the shot off. That's a playoff foul, and, and that's the physicality that Hong Kong needs right now. Marcus Elliott was who picked up the foul. Holyfield picked up the, the extra bits and pieces. Elliott on two. A best of three series. Oh, Young to Fields. Oh, and again, getting Michael Holyfield to help. No one helping Michael Holyfield. And there's John Fields again for his fourth or fifth dunk today. 23 points for John Fields. Leads all scorers. Not a single one. And Marcus Elliott is in double digits now. He's up to 14. Yeah, and he's heating up there. And that was a great read coming off that down screen to flare it and wide open feet set three-pointer. 30 points the deficit. All the advantage as Young again drives up and over. John Fields with authority. Someone has to help Michael Holyfield because he comes over and challenges that shot. And John Fields is just eating apart Hong Kong on that weak side with either drop downs or offensive rebounds. But who's good enough to help him? Who's strong? Who's the man? That's a very good question. Alexander fizzes the pass into Delvin Go, who approaches the baseline. Too big for Adam Sue. Second chance for Go. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Alexander thinks of the three. Has to set up a play. Crowd helping him. Alexander uh, drops for Fields. Third time. Larry Liu is the man who picks it up. Shot clock resets. 12 seconds. Another 50-50 ball for Singapore there. They couldn't have made a better fist of today. Ali Oop is over, John Fields. Oh, now it was a dig. Lee Key got away with a push in the back there. He had a nice little push on the back of John Fields uh, back there, so he wasn't able to get the Ali Oop. Timeout was being called by the Singapore Slingers. And it is. We said they've got to be professional. They have been professional in this third stanza. Yeah, and, they, they, and Hong Kong tried everything. They tried the one, two, two half court. They tried the two, three zone. They've tried, man, they've, they've made a ton of different adjustments and nothing's worked so far against Singapore. Let's have a look at John Fields and his power, but also just picking up the assists. Yeah, and he's in the right spot at the right time. Doing a great job of winning that weak side, whether it's on the offensive rebound or on the dump down. He's there every single time, and Holyfield has to leave his body, and that's trouble for Hong Kong. 25 points for John Fields. We weren't talking about him being the main man. We were talking about the X-man being the main man, but a 32-point lead for the Slingers over Eastern. But it is only game one of three. Game two is on Thursday in Wan Chai. Game three, if required, back at the OCBC Arena in Singapore next Sunday night. Yeah, and we haven't seen Odarian Bassett for a while now. He hasn't been in the game, and again, scoreless. 23 points a game, she's 43 and 36. He almost single-handedly beat Alab last week by himself scoring a game-high 28 points and looked unstoppable. And we haven't seen him for the last couple possessions. And he's not coming back out here. Do you, do you think he's been benched? No, I think they're probably just trying to give him a break just to, to think things through and get his rhythm back because he's he seemed a little out of sorts and he just seems like he hasn't been able to find that rhythm that he had going in, in the quarterfinals. But surely you want to be on the court to find your rhythm. You can't do yeah, it in sitting down well on the said. bench. Very well said. Adam Sue with the inbound. A non-committal press. Sue Wing. Elliott. 
He's found a little bit of form in this uh, second half. Outside, four wing, off the rim there. Three-point shooting hasn't uh, fired today. 16 of 50 from the field now for Hong Kong. Wow. As in, wow, that's lousy. <laughs> for this level. <laughs> <laughs> Fields. The change outside, drives into Holyfield, sky hook off the rim. That's a fun little battle right there, hey? Fields is very confident on offense right now, and Holyfield doesn't back down at all. Elliott from outside, little jumper. Fields and Holyfield clash again. Sparks flying. Young to Alexander. Larry Liu for three off the rim. Alexander thought that he was being fouled, held off by Key. Another uh, offensive rebound by Singapore. The rebound, they're winning the rebounding advantage 36 to 26 now as well. Everything is going the Slinger's way. And Key Lee is called for a foul there on Xavier Alexander, who took a, a smack just to the ear. The Hong Kong's tried to go bigger here by putting in Adam Shu instead of John Sui, and they're, they're just trying everything. Coach Torres is trying everything right now, but the Slingers just look unstoppable with three minutes left here in the third quarter. Alexander goes to the line. The great news for the Slingers is we're not just talking about Alexander. Yeah, and, and it's easy to forget about him just because he does it so efficiently and quietly, does it so consistently. 12 points, nine rebounds, seven, or sorry, nine assists, seven rebounds, five and nine. Like, what, what more can you ask from the guy who is also guarding Odarian, Odarian Bassett to zero points? He hasn't scored yet. Oh for 2 from that visit to the foul line, though. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Singapore Slingers 77 to 45. Remember, Eastern won both league matches. Came on strong in the fourth quarter in the game in Wan Chai, and they've picked up a, a foul here. Yeah, and, and interestingly enough, that, that was a very different team with Sam Deguar. And so. To see them win those two matches and then come in here with a different squad, it would have been a lot of prep and scouting for both coaches. And, and obviously, Singapore has come with a really nice philosophy and game plan so far. Odarian well, Bassett steps back in. There's Xavier right back in his face. This is my court. This is my town. <laughs> Bassett. Okay. Maybe a sit down does do you good. <laughs> <laughs> First shot in, pull up three off of that left hand, and, and this is the last guy Singapore wants to get going. Edu Torres, okay, maybe he knows what he's on about. <laughs> <laughs> Coach of the year in the season, Eastern won the title. Took him to semi finals last year. Brown and Fields combined for another big two. What a move by Jared Young to spin back and get that ball above. The long and athletic Mike Holyfield. Nice little tip in from John Fields. Bassett. This final 12 minutes for Bassett will always be about finding confidence for game two. As Larry Liu intercepts. Oh, he's called another, has he? No, he hasn't. Thought he called Larry Liu for another tough foul. And great job from Larry Liu on the weak side there. Comes flying across to help on the weak side and get that ball to bounds or Holyfield would have had a layup. Bassett. Alexander being twisted inside and out. Holyfield and Fields. The foul drawn against John Fields. Great challenge at the rim there for a second foul, John Fields. And that looked like it was clean up top, but they're going to call him with the body here. He gets sealed off. Good seal by Holyfield. And look at them meeting up there. And yeah, that, that, was, that was on the body. Good call by the official. Great seal by Holyfield, but great challenge by Fields as well. It has been really fun to see these guys bang, hey? Couple of bulldogs down there in the paint. And a foul becomes worth it when the opposition missed from the foul line. John Fields has a really nice little uh, news article in Straight Times today talking about how sometimes people misread him and he's misrepresented, but he's never going to change. He's always going to be the way that he is and he's going to stay true to himself, which was a really cool article to read, an interesting article to read. Here is the man in question. Young, ooh, thrown away. Fields rescues it. That's good skill, lovely pass. 
and gets the return from Alexander. Oh. We have a nice little thing going those two right there, hey? Fields with his 27 point, 10 rebounds, and Xavier with his 10th assist of the game now for a double-double as well. I felt that love, bro, I felt that love. Elliot slides in, up and over for two. Quality from Marcus Elliott. Yeah, he's got his rhythm going now for his 18th point. Five of 14, not great efficiency from him, but he's, he's really start, started to get aggressive here in the second half. Young. Young, one of four slingers in double digits, but leading the lot is John Fields. Misses that one. A little bit out of his range. Got to get underneath that bucket. Yeah, definitely. Final minute, Bassett outside off the hoop. Fields gets above Holyfield. Larry Yu can start things off again. Fields looking a little bit weary as he makes his way down the court. Alexander, a travelling call against Xavier Alexander. Well, and that was a really nice attack by Xavier there. He, he stepped right through Bassett. Uh, Oh, that's a tough call. I didn't see the travel there. If anything, they have to call the physicality either a charge or uh, a blocking foul on Bassett. But don't know the. I don't know about that travel call there. Ed Torres has called a timeout. Alexander, a weary walk, and John Fields a weary walk. It must be said as well. He's put in a prodigious effort as Fields. As have the whole Slingers. Yeah, and the Slingers, they, they average, they only average 85 points a game. They have 81 here going into the end of the third quarter. And you said that they had to keep this lead and they had to keep this momentum. And man, have they done that in the third quarter, Does Healthy crowd at the OCBC Arena. I think they can sit back and relax a little bit. Not too much, but enjoy the spectacle. They're used to semi-finals in this part of the world. How they'd love a championship. Yeah, and that's the missing piece right there. This, this is, is a buster or a winner bust for the Slingers. They are, they're here to get the championship this year. In Xavier's fourth year, they have that consistency. The locals have been here for a little while. Uh, they believe that this is this year, and so far in game one, they're showing it. And they've got home court advantage right the way through the competition, providing they can make use of it like they did in the first two quarters here. Yeah, and it's been very interesting to see everything that worked for Hong Kong against Alaba, their ball screen action with all their shooters, their 1-2-2 two, two press, uh, uh, their, their zone defense, their, their in-game adjustments, Nothing has worked for them here today. And it's been funny to see how they've kind of struggled with Singapore's defense and, and the mobility of their bigs to step out on the ball screen of uh, Desmond O and, or sorry, uh, Delvin Go and uh, John Fields. And it's just been a, a very interesting first three quarters here. 37 seconds remaining. Elliot has to come deep to pick up possession. Right past Larry Liu, lifts it to Holyfield for a highlight reel. Yeah, and 18 points now for Mike Holyfield, an 8 of 11, and, and he is winning that weak side as well. Marcus Elliott gets in the lane, beats Larry Liu off the dribble, and that's an easy alley oop dunk for Holyfield. Alexander. Young outside to Larry Liu. Little fake. Holyfield's not letting him go anywhere. Alexander. Liu outside for three, doesn't drop. They were dropping in the first quarter. And another, it just seems like all the breaks are going Singapore's way. Mike Holyfield gets to the ball, can't grasp it with two hands, out of bounds with 1.3 left for a baseline out of bounds here for the Slingers. Shots from Liu. Well, in your imagination, they drop on the perfect day, they drop. Today's not a perfect, perfect day, but it's not far off it. At the end of the third quarter, it's Singapore Slingers still leading comfortably by 28 points. They lead 81 to 53 with 10 minutes to play.
A very warm welcome back to the OCBC Arena. It's the ASEAN Basketball League semi-finals. Game one in a best of three series. Singapore Slingers with a 28-point lead over Eastern of Hong Kong. Here's the best of the third quarter. John Fields versus Mike Holyfield has been the real standout battle in, in this one, Scotty McKinnon. Yeah, John Fields has been active. 27 points, 10 rebounds on 13 to 25 in the field. That's a lot of shots for John Fields. And it's been fun to see him just take this challenge and run with it. In commentary, we've been talking about how important it is that Singapore don't allow Eastern come too far back. Eastern, though, have won that third quarter, so there's the sense there's a little bit of momentum building for the Hong Kong side. Yeah, and the last thing you want them to have is momentum, especially O'Derry Bassett. You want him to walk out of this gym thinking about his one of 13 shooting on three points rather than him having a huge four, uh, fourth quarter here making some shots, because when that guy makes shots, they come in bunches. There is Bassett on the ball. Game one could be a blowout, but game two and three could be very different if required. Oh, look at that one. Getting into the groove is Marcus Elliott. That's his third triple. Yeah, and instead of running the ball screen there with Mike Holyfield, they did it with their two guards. And that was hard because Desmond O had to step up, and now it's a wide open three for Elliott. The lead was as big as 35 at one stage. It's being chipped away. You wouldn't think it'll impact on the results of this game, but. If Marcus Elliott can bury more threes, he's not far off another one there. And you never know. Alexander against Elliott. Second attempt, Holyfield. Now well, there's a foul gone against Easton. Holyfield looks a little bit concerned that it's against him. Uh, Coach Neal's calling for a goaltending there. Mike Holyfield slapped the, ba the ba uh, backboard and caused it to bounce around. So they're, they're fighting for it. We'll see if they give it to him. Two points. Yeah, so they called on Holyfield. And Mike Holyfield, he, it's, he's an aggressive rim challenger. He went up there to try and get it at the top and, and just unlucky that he hit the backboard there. Great call from Scotty McKinnon. Been calling it pretty well all season for us. Bassett. Eastern's seventh best record in the league. They changed two of their imports coming into these playoffs, were rewarded with a wonder victory against Aleph Filipinas. And now Bassett. He's beginning to yeah, find a groove. this is what they don't want. They can't have this happening. And then, and then again, that's the two dynamic guards involved in that ball screen. Nice little call from Edward Torres coming out of the timeout. Two-pointer fadeaway jumper dropped in from Der uh, Jaron Young. Yeah, 13 for Jaron. And, and he had a great start to the game, got in foul trouble. And he's had a really consistent uh, second half here, staying out of foul trouble. Bassett. Moving Xavier all over the place. Big rebound by Fields and the Holyfield. 8.30 to play. Remarkable intensity in the first two quarters. Just incredible from the Slingers. And they've controlled it a little bit, but now they've got to be thinking half an eye on game two. Young from outside. Jaron Young, 7 of 10 now, 16 points. And that's the Jaron Young that Singapore loves so much. Aggressive scorer, defender, athlete. Elliott off the rim, Delvin Go picks up the rebound. And Eastern's reaching now, they're, they're, they're looking to, to shoot a bunch of threes, and, and even if they're bad shots, they're just looking to get up um, some threes right now. Fields slows the game down, Desmondo happy enough to include Fields, and an assist for a dunk for the X-Man. Really nice read there by Xavier Alexander, they, they switched the down screen, he slipped it to the rim for a wide open dunk. And unfortunately, I think... Beautiful. Yeah, and one thing Xavier needs to stay away from is slapping that ball right there. He's, all, he's already picked up um, the quota for technical fouls this year, and if he gets another one, that's a suspension for a game. So Xavier can't be doing that stuff. He's too smart, he's too valuable to this team. Uh, and especially with the momentum they have right now, up 31. He just needs to keep doing the same thing that he's doing. 16 points, 11 uh, assists, and 8 rebounds. In the back of the mind, it's a best of three series. Mm -hmm. 
they could well could be coming back here. You've got to be ready to play for three here and three in the next, well, five in the next series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they did. Right now in a 31-point game, they just need to continue this momentum and continue playing well and, and sticking to their discipline and their game plan. And that extracurricular stuff doesn't need to happen. So stop enjoying yourself, Xavier. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's about the only negative I could find in Xavier's game right now. <laughs> I don't. This, that guy doesn't do much stuff wrong. Seven to twelve from the field. Eleven assists. He's approaching another triple double and world import MVP candidate every single year he, he is in Singapore. He cannot say enough nice things about him as a leader, basketball player, and, and part of the community here in Singapore. The Blue Shirts of Eastern will be hosting in Wan Chai, game two on Thursday. Marcus Elliott, he's come good in this second half, 16 points for him. Jonathan Shu from outside, a little jumper for two for him, yeah, takes him nice, up to six. Yeah, nice little shot by Jonathan Shu. Real tough closer for Delvin Gold, they're recovering back after the hard hedge. Bassett and Young having a little bit of a contretemps on the circle. Eventually, Young is found, Bassett touch tight. Young backs in, it's underfield, ball thrown away. Bassett's quick move out to Elliott, and Elliott slides through. Doesn't convert the two, and Jaron Young, a nice full 360 circle. Great rebound there by Jaron Young. He does a very good job on the boards. He's, he's, he's quite a big guard for his position, and, and it's a huge advantage for the Slingers. been a seven-man rotation for the Slingers tonight. Similarly for Easton. But the work of the guys on the bench for the Slingers, the Larry Lewis, etc., has been great as Bassett downs another three. Yeah, and, and Bassett's got nine points now. And the, all these nine points are in the last uh, two or three minutes here on pull-up threes. And he does a really good job with that hesitation dribble. If he sees the person's hips go up, he attacks the rim. If he doesn't, he shoots the pull-up jump shot. Now he's doing, trying to screen on John Fields. Bit of a mismatch there, and Young can't convert. It's off Bassett. Yeah, and they, they, they don't want Bassett to get going. They want him to think about his struggles. They don't want him to think about being that top player that he was in the, in the first quarterfinal series. Fascinating the way he's being coached by Edu Torres. As you said, he sat him down a couple of times, gave him a long time to sit down, and he's come out firing in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and Edward Torres is, like you said, pretty experienced basketball coach, coach of the year. He, he does a fantastic job with them, and that's why they're always consistently one of the top teams in the ABL. You for the Slingers, young at pace. Looks for Fields, the hook shot doesn't drop, but the tip in from Delvin Go does. Double digits for Delvin, Delvin. What a game, Delvin Go. 13 points now, uh, 10 rebounds and five assists on six and nine. He's the great con contribution from our Singapore lo local. A double-double is terrific. A little bit of moisture, is it, on the court that's been called? Yeah, it's uh, the timeout. The officials just making sure there's a I can't see the moisture. I think he's got a little bit of blood in his leg, leg Xavier ah. Alexander there. So the trainer trying to clean it up quickly and uh, get him back in the game there because uh, that's the last thing we need is Xavier on the bench right now. And, and Odari and Bassett starting to cook here. Dr. McKinnon with the diagnosis. <laughs> Stepping in for the first time is Ricky Young. Bassett. Faced by Larry Liu and Delvin Go. Oh, and Bassett needs to attack there. He's got Delvin Go switched out on him. He's, he, there's no way he can stay in front of him. That's O'Derry Bassett time. He's got to shoot that basketball. This fourth quarter is fascinating because the game is won and lost, but it's now what you take into game number two. Very well said. Very well said. And where that momentum goes, and the Slingers. They want to stay consistent and disciplined. They want to do what they've been doing all game long. And Hong Kong wants to try and get some momentum going into one check because that place is ruckus and loud and very difficult to play in. Yeah, very different atmosphere. It's a tight arena, a tight court. This place can get rocking if Young can hit three, but he can't. 
But Fields picks up another big rebound and the possession will go the way of the Singapore Slingers. Sean Fields, he's a performer. I love him, he's an entertainer. Big, big fan of the WWE. And you can see it in the way he plays. Loves to get the crowd going, plays off the energy of the crowd. And, and it's, it's been really fun to watch him progress as a, as a basketball player this year. Liu inbounds to the aforementioned Fields. Delving go, a double-double for the local. Big performance. Field switches to Liu. Two seconds on the shot clock as Delvin bags another two. 15-point hole. And the fadeaway jump shot and the kick out nevertheless. Uh, everything going for the Slingers right now. They look amazing. Holyfield can't convert under the rim. And Delvin will pick up a foul. But don't make life easy for Holyfield there. Think of game two. Yeah, and... and Mike Holyfield's had a very good game today. 8 of 12 from the field, 18 points, 14 rebounds, 5 blocks, 8 offensive rebounders. He's a workhorse, and just look at that effort down there. The physicality to chase the ball over and over and again on that second jump, and he earned himself two foul shots. Nineteen points for him, three of five from the line. Yeah, and it's amazing. They picked him up right up before the playoffs, and he, he's a basketball nomad. Been all over the world. Played in China. Uh, comes from Sam Houston State, and he's just—he's a very good big in this league. And it's been fun to see him be the, tremendously successful in a short time with Hong Kong. 29 points. The lead was at halftime. It's still 29, which is good game management by the Slingers. Mm -hmm. Young outside to Liu. Tell you, the rims are smaller at this end. Yeah, yeah, it's been a different second half. They've only made one uh, three pointer in the second half compared to seven in the first. Brilliant interception and rejection from John Fields. He's contributed everything today. Arguably, man of the match. Yeah, his, uh, his third block already today. So, like you said, man of the match so far. Young. Four seconds, get the shot away. Jaron Young from way downtown. And possession went back, but Ricky Yang at pace onto Elliott. Elliott steps inside, looks for support. None is there until Xu from outside. He can't hit the three. Fields reacts first. Of course he does. Yeah, his 13th rebound of the game. And again, Hong Kong 23 of 66 from the floor today, shooting a, uh, not even close to their standard. Fields fancies himself as a point guard now as well as Delvin Go <laughs> looks outside. Liu, yes. <laughs> Singapore's ninth three-pointer of the game. Shooting it in 42 of 78. Larry Liu, what a game. He's had 11 points and six rebounds and four and nine. And he's careful as Elliott finds Holyfield. But out of bounds. Holyfield, just one of those size 13s on the line. Yeah. Big feet on that man right there, the 6'11", bulky forward for Hong Kong. And if you look at the, the, the local contribution so far for Singapore, you have Go with 15, Hanbin with 9, uh, Larry Liu with 11, Desmond Oh with 3. What, what a contribution from the locals so far today. And great applause from the crowd as Singapore made three changes. Just get a, give a little bit of core time to the likes of Russell Lowe and... Uh, uh, Hambin, there's Young and Fields, Young for two, doesn't drop, but it comes again off a of blue shirt, and there's a look of angst on the face of Keeley as he marches towards the commentary area. Yeah, and how many times has that happened today where they've tried to grab the ball, it's gone on off a couple of Hong Kong players, and it becomes Singapore ball, and they just, everything's gone Singapore's way today, and they've just done a really good job of being the initiators out there. Every 50-50 ball they've won, um, and that's a product of, of, it's been contagious. Their energy, energy and enthusiasm has been contagious throughout the whole game. Game management coming into play as well. Singapore Slingers call for the time out. 97 points, they're looking for their biggest 40-minute haul of the season. 
Yeah, and the number one defensive team in the league, Singapore, they only give up 79 points a game. Opponents shoot 46% from two and 29 from three, and that's evident today. Right now, Marcus Elliott and Odari Bassett, the dynamic duel, is eight of 34 from the field, shooting below 30%. Of what a job uh, Xavier Alexander, the Singapore defense, has done controlling those two today. Just protecting that lead and not getting carried away. Game two is on Thursday. Keep that body healthy. Look after yourself mentally. Make sure you're red hot and full of vim and vigor going into game three. Because this man, Odarian Bassett, will be. He's got something to prove now in game, game two. Yeah, and when they get home to one Chai, he's going to be ready to play. That guy is a, a, is a tremendous basketball scorer. He's a, he's a bucket, as they say. So he'll be a different player in game two, and Singapore's going to have to be able to come ready to, to compete with them and do the same thing they did today. 2.32 on the ball game. I think the win's safe now, huh? Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> yeah. Very good point there. And you made a great point earlier about them doing game management. The game management from Coach Neal and Coach Johnson has been fantastic in the second half. Han Bin outside. That would have brought up the 100 points. That's what the crowd are after. Low on to Junwan. The bench warmers enjoying their moment in the sun. Fields, hook, can't get it away, and Holyfield towers over Lim Junwan. Elliott sweeps it out. The three-pointer from Adam Su is good. A little bank action there from Adam Su. The former international basketball superstar for Hong Kong International School. Nice to see him step up and hit a three-pointer here in the end game. His first points of the game, though, and if Singapore can be very happy that they've kept the three-point scorers out. Young. Low for Fields for two. And the crowd's going bananas here because crowd favorite Lavin Raj has just come up to the scorer's table to check in, and this place will erupt when he checks into the game. Marcus Elliott on the serious stuff, off behind the boards. And as indeed, Lavin Raj steps in, as does Te Ding Lun. And John Fields exits the game just dominant today. 29 points, 14 rebounds, five block shots. He has been everything to the Slingers today. An explosive double double for John Fields. 99 to 68 with 128 to play. Lavin versus Holyfield. That should be fun. Lavin, well, wasn't brought into play. Is that a, a lovely two from Adam Sue? Five for him. Good experience this for the Singapore bench warmers. Oh, great experience for them. Like you said, that's a, that's fantastic to have them here in a semi-final game, getting some meaningful playing time. Adam Sue drives, doesn't convert. Lavin picks up his rebound. He'll be on the statistics sheet. Yeah, Lavin, Raj. Lavin Raj is only 18 years old and over 300 pounds. He is a big lad, and as he gets more experience, he's going to be a, a talented basketball player here for Singapore and their national team. 45 seconds. Lavin in and out. The roof would have erupted here, I think. <laughs> Key inside to Marcus Elliott, blocked by Lavin. Just reaches up an arm. Three figures is the target now for the Slingers. Jim Wan loses the scrum. And if I was uh, on the Hong Kong Eastern team, this would light a fire in my belly right now, having, having everyone screaming down 29 points. This would have me very fired up and, and, and very uh, motivated for the next game, game two in uh, Wan Chai. You have got to be careful when you're winning, don't you? You can't put it in people's faces. Well, you can but it can sometimes come back to bite you. Bench warmers for Hong Kong stepping in as well. We're going to see uh, Chun Sing. He steps in and uh, Yik Lun. What a basketball game Singapore has played today. 99 points, only giving up 70. And 
just along the boards, 29 fields, 11 loose, 16 young, 16 Alexander. What balanced scoring. Tate blocked off to Lavin. Being urged to shoot. Russell Lowe downtown. 100 points for Singapore. There's the super sub, Russell Lowe, right there. He's had a nice little end of the year and, and a great little spin move there to put it up over top of the Holyfield. Ricky ends and a rebound for Ricky, but Singapore slingers with a formidable 101 points to 70 victory in game one of this ABL semi-final best of three series. An emphatic first half was the difference. 29 points was the lead. In the end, it was a 31-point deficit for the Slingers. Yeah, and the Slingers looked absolutely fantastic today. Oh, shot over 50% from the field. Won the rebounding advantage by 14. Won assists by 15. They didn't turn the ball over. The offensive rebound, they hit nine three-pointers. Got production from everyone. You can't say enough good things about Singapore Slingers moving forward here into game two, but that's going to be a different story and a different challenge in Wan Chai Arena. Nonetheless, you'd much rather go up to Wan Chai. One up, the one down. Final score from the OCBC Arena. I don't think many people would have predicted this margin of victory in the first uh, game of the best of three semi semi-final. It's finished Slingers 101, Eastern 70. Here's the play of the day, and John Fields, who's undoubtedly a contender for MVP, picking up the dish after a lovely play from Jaron Young. Beautifully done, beautifully converted, beautifully set up, beautifully indicative of everything that Slingers did. Let's look at this, assist 28 to 13, 52 to 38 out rebounding, shooting stats just under 50% from field goals, in fact just over compared to 25 of 72, 61 bench points. What more can you ask from that, Scotty McKinnon? Oh, and the statistical uh, advantages that Singapore has in every single stat ca category uh, reflects the score. A 31-point victory for Singapore singers at home in Game 1 here. Thanks to Scotty McKinnon for his uh, excellent analysis of Game 1. Game 2 on Thursday in Wan Chai will be a very different matter. If required, Game 3 back here at the OCBC Arena. Love to see you here, although Slingers will prefer it didn't go to Game 3. Hope you've enjoyed the action. It's been